What's going on guys? My name is Senior Asshat and I am rightly confused. So, the reason why I'm rightly confused is because of this. Here in Canada, if you are under the age of 25, you are considered a bad driver. And if you're male, even more so. That is sexism gone in the opposite way. Normally females are being victimized because apparently guys are assholes, whatever. But no, in this, in this scenario, we are being bastardized because apparently we cannot drive or we are too reckless just because we have testicles. I don't get it. It doesn't make much fucking sense. So I called up my insurance company and I was getting quotes for a bunch of cars. And I mean, I have, uh, I have the driving course done. I have apparently no riding time. Motorcycles and cars don't actually register as the same amount of vehicle experience. So technically I have zero experience on the road in a car and so forth. So that doesn't help me. Plus the fact I'm 23 years old, I'm under the majority age. So let's just, let's just do this as an example. I wanted to look at a 2008 Chrysler 300 and basically they wanted $1,500, I will say $1,600. I was like, okay, that's obviously very expensive. But if I was 25 years old, it would drop about 500 to 600 dollars that is retarded all because i am two years older and apparently i'm two years wiser motherfucker i will be the same driver i am now when i'm 25 or 30 or 40 or 50 i'll stop i'll do a little jerk in the air whatever i don't care anyway it doesn't make much difference and it really goes back to that whole sexist thing because girls get it so much easier. I don't get it. I really, really, really don't get it. If a girl calls in the exact same car, mine's $1,600, there may be $1,300, maybe $1,200, depending. I don't know if it's that big of a gap, but that's what I'm assuming. That is fucked up. And also the fact is I am now a fully registered driver, meaning I can grab every single one of these cars and I could drive them legally. But the insurance company, for most people I've talked to anyway, you cannot legally drive their car and be insured under the other person's uh, registration and insurance unless you are 25 years old. Again, 25 years old. What the fuck? I am 23. I literally cannot drive anybody's car. I couldn't even pick up Dale's car. I couldn't pick up my, grandpa my grandparents' van or my parents' van. I couldn't do it. So if there was ever an emergency that I, what, for whatever reason, needed the car, and I got into an accident on the way down to the hospital or whatever, I would not be insured, therefore I could lose my license. Even though technically I am a legal driving person, all because I'm not over the age of 25. That is fuckery. It's straight fucking fuckery. I can't even think of a better word for fuckery. Or fuck, fuck isn't even emphasizing what I'm feeling right now. There is literally no point in me getting my license unless I'm preparing to own a car and buying the insurance. And because really, I can't drive anybody else's car because their policies are so ludicrous that you have to be a specific age. And another thing, here in Nova Scotia, I don't know if it's anywhere else in the world, but you have to be 16 years old before you can get your beginners. And then six months after that, you can go for your full. So you legally could be a fully registered driver at 16 years old and you have to wait until you're 25 to drive anybody else's vehicle alone, not with them in the car. You can do that here in Nova Scotia when you have your beginners. As long as a registered driver is in the car over the age of 25, whatever, you can drive. But seriously, you would have to wait fucking almost 10 years, nine years from 16 to 25. I think I did that math right. I will verify and put a thing on the screen. Fantastic. Okay. But no, that is fucking stupid as hell. Like, there, there's no added benefit unless your parents are going to buy you a car. And in that case, I want your parents and pay for your insurance. Because I will give you a little statistic as well. Remember, this is when I was 16. I'm 23 now. So it was quite some years ago. I called for a relatively used vehicle, like maybe 2000, okay. If I was 16, that's roughly around 2000, 
uh, shit, seven, maybe? 2006, 2007? Possibly my math could be off. I'm not denying that. But either way, I called for maybe like a 2001. I don't remember exactly what car it was. The insurance company wanted $5,000 a fucking year to insure this car. This car may have cost me, oh, I don't know, maybe $3,000. The insurance literally cost more than the fucking car. That is unnecessary. Un-fucking necessary. So that just goes to show, a 16 year old kid, brand newly licensed, even with the fucking driving ed, you would still be paying an arm and a leg, so therefore you can't legally drive. Just putting that out there. That is not fair, not fair at all. And the reason why is because like I said, I was looking for some cars, really there's no point. I might as well just fucking hold off and tell I'm 25 to buy a car. Either that or if I don't mind paying an arm and a leg, but realistically, I'm still paying for my motorcycle. Like this bike's 200 and basically I'll say 240 bucks a month for the cost of the bike. And then my insurance is like, I don't fucking know, like 1800 or so a year. So I have to pay well, not 1800 okay, so therefore it'd be like, I don't know, fucking like 1400 1500 maybe? Because I have to pay 800 up front, and that's half, essentially, so 1600 roughly. And then over the next four months, pay $190. That is fucking retarded. So now I'm not going to add another fucking, well, $240 onto... Onto my bills. Like, I have to pay rent. I have to pay everything. Why in the hell would I want to put another $240 just for insurance a month? That's some class-ass fuckery right there, guys. And not to mention, I mean, the cars themselves, fuck. I have awesome credit. I could literally walk in and get any car I wanted to. Minus, like, a Lamborghini or whatever. Come on, guys. Be realistic. But literally, I could walk in and get a car. Be financed. Boom. Done. Thanks. Pat on the ass and away I go. Maybe get a free coffee out of it. Whatever. But... Just putting that in fucking money terms. Like, that's retarded. I don't want to have to pay $200 for a car a month. That's like 100 bucks, whatever, every two weeks, which is normal price for a car, depending. And then put another $200 a month on insurance, plus not to mention my extra cost for my bike. It just, it doesn't seem financially possible for someone under the age of 25 to have a motorcycle and have a car, realistically what it seems like but anyway guys that was my rant for the night i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys agree with what i say put it down below i want to hear what you guys think and if it changes where you live put that down below i'd love to hear from other parts of the world and as always guys my name is senior asset signing off hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you leave a like comment down below with the common question of the day is do you agree with me and if you've already done so please subscribe and share this with your friends and i will see you guys next time